Today we got Lawrence Craft Arrows. Basically, this is a custom arrow plugin, and it's pretty cool. Uh, I recommend it for something like an RPG server or even uh, survival if you want to add like a new aspect. Uh, basically, custom arrows, which is pretty cool. So uh, there's a whole bunch of arrows that uh, this plugin has. So if you do LCA, this brings up your main help menu. So if you go in LCA list, this shows you all the different types of arrows that <laughs> is built into them. There's quite a lot. So I'm gonna be showing about uh, eight different kinds probably like my eight favorite out of these and uh, you can uh, check whatever recipes that you have so if you do LCA and then uh, recipes and then here is the recipes for whatever uh, arrow that you have. So if we do like the ice one, uh, it opens up a nice GUI and it tells you what the arrow does. So this turns water to ice and you can just kind of go down the line. It just uh, tells you whatever arrow it is. So this is a lance arrow and then you can go down the line uh, right there, which is pretty cool. So let me go ahead and uh, showcase some of the, the different arrows that I personally like. And then we'll just go and showcase each different arrow. So this video is being sponsored by Sangata. Sangata is the one-stop shop designed to help make Make finding the perfect plugins for your Minecraft server easy and efficient. With the help of continuous user and developer feedback, Sagata is quick to implement your ideas and improve the platform. With fair and just business practices, Sagata Marketplace gives you the opportunity to download free and paid plugins to help your server stand out from the crowd. Join the Sagata community by checking out the links below. The first one that I'm going to be showing is the cooling arrow. Uh, this turns a lava into obsidian for a short while. So this is how you make it. You got a snow block, stick, and a feather, and that gives you the cooling arrow. So we'll just undo that just like this and put it in the crafting table. And there we go. We got our cooling arrow. So if we go ahead and just shoot the bow over here, just like, ooh, if we actually hit lava. <laughs> there we go. We actually hit lava. Uh, so there we go. That looks pretty cool. So like, say you're like running away or something and uh, you have to like do a trick shot and boom, there we go. We got, we got some nice obsidian right here so that, that's a pretty cool feature i like that all right so that is the cooling arrow and the lava i mean the obsidian will go away after a short while i don't know how what it is off the top of my head but it will go away so we go ahead and showcase the next one which is the force filled arrow basically it pushes entities away from the arrow so when you're shooting it it has uh, the really cool push away effect so we got iron bias at the top and uh, then you're pretty much good to go just like a normal arrow so let's go ahead and craft this and uh, let me go ahead and spawn some zombies right here. So we'll do a spawn mob and then zombies uh, and we'll do like 10 of them, right? So if we got a whole bunch of zombies right here where you shoot the arrow, as you see, it just like pushed all of them away, which is pretty awesome. So if you get too close yourself, you will get pushed away as well. So if we're standing like right here, as you see, it just kind of uh, pushes it back. So it's pretty nice. You got a, a zombie horde right here. You just uh, shoot them back and it pushes you back as well. So it gives you the uh, ability to go back. So that, that's pretty cool. I I like that. I like that. It's pretty fun. Alright, so we'll, we'll uh, clear our inventory. Now we'll go on to the next arrow. So now we got the ice arrow. Pretty simple. Turns water into ice. So I uh, I think that's pretty cool. Pretty fun. So you could just like walk across a whole bunch of <laughs> ice when you if you don't want to like have a boat or something. So let's go ahead and put snowballs and bucket in and there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and shoot the water over here. Basically just shooting the water and uh, it's turning into ice. So that's pretty awesome. Alright, so we'll go ahead and clear my inventory, go to the next arrow, and uh, we got multi-shot. So, uh, so it shoots multiple arrows in quick succession. Uh, pretty simple. I think it just shoots three arrows, so that's why there's an uh, inventory of three, but you can change this in the config, keep in mind. So if you go ahead and just like shoot some arrows, as you see, it does shoot about three at a time. So we'll spawn some more and we'll spawn like a, a creeper this time so we'll uh, just shoot it three and there we go it shot three arrows at him nice that's awesome that's cool i like that so it's basically like custom enchants which is pretty nice all right so we'll go uh to the next one we got a volley arrow i think this is probably one of my favorite because it just shoots like five at a time uh which is pretty sweet so basically just uh put it in your camera crafting table uh the whole nine arrows just like so and there is your volley all right now we'll shoot them with there the volley there we go look at oh actually maybe it's nine so that would make more sense if it's nine but it just shoots a whole bunch so if we have like a horde of creepers or zombies or something we just like shoot them over there there's a whole bunch of a uh, <laughs> whole bunch of arrows on the ground oh it's causing a little a little bit of lag but if we just like shoot them over there just kind of volleys them up so if we like shoot them in the sky and you see all the arrows that looks pretty sweet that's awesome all right so we'll go ahead and uh, uh kill the entities just like that 
Now we have a walling arrow, so it builds a wall in front of you wherever the arrow lands. So this could be pretty cool um, with uh, like build UHC or something. So we got stone, dirt, and then uh, so yeah, stone on this on the left side, and then dirt right here, and cobblestone, alright? So that builds us a walling arrow. So wherever we shoot it, it will build a wall. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Now we can hide behind the wall, which is pretty awesome. So like you're running away, and you just want to like turn behind you, and it builds a wall. So that. that could be pretty fun, pretty entertaining, but uh, yeah, so that's that's how you do it, and it does go away after a few seconds. I think it's probably like five seconds or so, but uh, maybe a little bit longer. But yeah, that's about it. But that's uh, that's the that's the walling arrow. Pretty fun, <laughs> pretty cool. I like that. All right, so we'll go ahead and do the last one here, and this one is going to be the weather arrow, and this shoots a weather skull instead of an arrow, and it does have explosions too. So just have weather skull on top, and then a stick and a feather, and you're good to go. Go ahead and place that in my inventory, and we got our weather arrow. So let's go ahead and shoot this bad boy. There we go, it shoots the weather skull. <laughs> that's awesome. So fun. So cool. All right, that's that's pretty cool. It doesn't necessarily like go in like the same what you're. I guess it's pretty close, not gonna lie. So if we're aiming for like up there, uh, it, it gets in uh, pretty- yeah, that's pretty close. That's pretty close. You don't really need to worry about it, but yeah, I would be hesitant to uh, give these out uh, to your players unless you want like your uh, <laughs> your world kind of destroyed, but um, it's pretty cool. It shoots uh, weather schools, so that's pretty sweet. That's awesome. You know, it would be cool if you had like a disguise plugin where uh, disguise as a weather, and then you have this and you shoot uh, the like, skulls at a player and troll them like crazy, but so that's this plugin that basically adds a whole bunch of custom uh, effects, custom arrows to your Minecraft server and there's so many more than what I showcased but I just showcased my favorite ones out of this list and uh, you can check on the spec page to find out what each one does so hope you guys did enjoy this showcase uh, leave a like it helps me out thank you all to who have subscribed to my channel it helps me out appreciate that so I will see you guys in the next video peace